Hey, what's going on, you guys? Brandon here, and welcome to a different type of video today. We are getting into the rebuilds here on Madden 22. So, I hope you guys are, you know, excited for these type of videos. If you guys want to see more of these type of videos, hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, we will be getting into some more rebuilds. We also do a franchise series with the Bears and uh that's more long term and then we have one a shorter one with the jets uh that's gonna end here pretty soon and uh we may be starting a new one we'll see but if you guys want to see more rebuilds let me know in the comments below hit that like button and also let me know what teams you guys want to see rebuilt here on madden 22. um let's go ahead before we sim the rest of the season we are starting at the uh you know starting now they're 1 11 and 1 actually in real life i, I guess madden is behind but uh, in real life, they're 2 11 and 1, just coming off of beating the Cardinals, which. Yikes, Cardinals. Um, but let's look at this roster before we sim the rest of the season. This team has a lot of work to, uh, to do. Um, I don't know really where to start at all. Um, obviously, I, oh, by the way, I'm playing with injuries off uh, as well. Um, so. Man, uh, I like Decker. You got Penny Sewell, um, Jackson. I, I, I yeah, man, offensive line is probably the best position on the team, um, and they still need a center and a right guard. I, you got T.J. Hawkinson at wide receiver. It's a bit of a mess. Raymond's played well. St. Brown has played well. Maybe we'll start uh, St. Brown. See if maybe we can get him going. DeAndre Swift obviously will be playing through quite a bit but offensively need to improve pretty much everything defensively we also need to pretty much improve everything um yeah this seems a disaster we're we've got a lot of work to do i don't even know where to begin we just have to take best players available and um and hope it works out but hopefully we can get deandre swift up to like superstar Maybe even that X Factor at some point. Eventually, we'll draft a quarterback. I have no idea. I will have the 2022 draft class in here. But this team sucks. Um, and honestly, it's, it's shocking that they actually have won two games. Um, they, I, I really thought they were going to go 0-17 or 0-16-1. I really thought they were. But it, uh, it didn't. They actually went 2 14 and 1. So that's how it goes. We've got some upgrades. I actually need to set the upgrades to auto, but we'll see any big ones here. Amani Orwarie. Um, let's give him, I guess, slot to try and give him a little bit of everything here. And uh, they gave him two plus two in man coverage. He's 26. So I don't know. Jonah Jackson will work on pass protection, I guess. Um, like I said, I, I'm going to have the computer do most of this, but I do want to go through a little bit here and look at some of these guys. TJ Hawkinson, we'll give him vertical threat. He goes up to an 88 overall. He's by far the best player on the team. Uh, and then DeAndre Swift is probably second. Um, but yeah, this team is a bit of a mess. I believe they have two first round picks. Um, so we can improve the roster quite a bit through there. But yeah, it's is it's gonna be interesting. In the Super Bowl, it's the Bucks and the Ravens. Um, I guess the Ravens do have a very good roster. They just they're they're all hurt, so that actually kind of makes sense. Um, so let's go ahead and see who wins the Super Bowl, and we will get into this off season as the Ravens beat the Bucks 24-21. Let's go ahead and look at the season recap here. Uh, Calais Campbell wins MVP. Tom Brady wins the uh, regular season MVP. Mike, Mike McCarthy, coach of the year. Brady, offensive player of the year. Micah Parsons, defensive player of the year. Najee Harris, rookie of the year. And Mike Parsons, defensive rookie of the year. And let's get to, uh, oops, let's get to re signing some players. Uh, hopefully, I don't know how many. Big time players this team has, but we might let a lot of guys go, to be honest, just because I'm not going to want to spend money on, uh, well, bad players. 
Um, but let's see. Obviously, we want to keep DeAndre Swift around. We want to keep TJ Hawkinson around. Um, Tracy Walker is 27. I don't know. Charles Harris. We'll keep Jack Fox. Sign him to, you know, like a, a four-year deal. We have 52 mil um, left over. Khalif Raymond. He's 28. You know, maybe he ends up re-signing, but in Madden, it doesn't make sense to re-sign him just because he's going to regress. Same thing with, with Anzalone, Tracy Walker. Like, they're all going to re regress. Like, that's just, it is how it is in Madden. So, we're going to let everyone go. Uh, let's look at the mock draft real quick. So, we do have the number one overall pick. They're projecting us to take Aiden Hutchinson. I think that's going to be the pick at number one. I don't think I'm going to trade down. Our next pick would be... Let's see, 27. Wow, okay. So, that's obviously from the Rams. We could... Uh, I mean, if, if David Ojabo... It would be cool to bring in Hutchinson and David Ojabo and just have our rush duo just like that. That would be pretty sick. Um, Jameson Williams could be a guy that we go after. Um... Maybe we go after like a, a Trent McDuffie, but I think pass rush uh, is a is a big thing that I want to try and go after. And maybe we trade up to get David Ojabo. I think that would be pretty sick to uh, to do in this. Have like two high end pass rushers and uh, obviously former teammates. I don't know. I think I think that would be pretty freaking sweet if we if we did that so we'll see we'll see what what we do with that but that'd be pretty cool free agency wise i'm not gonna go super like insane but it's not gonna be super realistic i it's gonna be closer to realistic i guess um these rebuilds but i'm not gonna do like super fantasy super realistic separating them i'm just gonna do whatever i want to do um and we'll go from there but i mean throughout free agency I don't know who we're going to go after. Marcus Williams. We can try and overpay and go after Marcus Williams. And that would be a big time safety. Um, I would say, yeah, five years. And then if we can overpay. Look, if the Lions want any free agents, they're going to have to overpay. Like, that's just the reality of, of the situation there. So if we overpay for some guys, then, you know, maybe, maybe it's worth it, right? Um... We do need a receiver. Michael Gallup could be interesting. Uh, Christian Kirk. Um, let's see. Uh, who else is relatively young? We could go after Juju and see what happens. <laughs> see if that works out. Uh, do we need a kicker? We kind of do. Eh, we'll, we'll keep who we have. We do need offensive line help. And someone like Tomlinson could help us at least just in just for now um obviously he's older but i mean this this is something that we could do uh we would need to offer a little bit more we have a decent amount of money and for two years i'd be okay with that just solidify a, a solid offensive line maybe a little bit more but like i said like free agency and we're not going to go after like Devonte adams because well he's he would never want to come here but um I don't know. Let's see. Chase Edmonds. No. Uh, let's see. Anyone else relatively young? I mean, we could bring in Van Der Esch. Um, Jacoby Myers would be a fun one. Let's bring in Jacoby Myers. We'll offer him like a four-year deal. Again, we're going to have to overpay for guys. Um, if we want them to come to Detroit. So we'll do that. Uh, let's see. DJ Chark is another one that we could always bring in. Uh, who else? Who else would we want? Ronnie Harrison. I don't know. We could bring in Ronnie Harrison. We need every position. So, like, it doesn't matter who we go for. Uh, it's going to be a position that we absolutely need. Um, but I don't really see anyone else that I really want to bring. I also want to be bad next year as well so we can get a top pick. Um, so bringing in, I see, no, we, we we're going after Myers, so I think we're good there. Any of the other big ones, 
don't really want to go after. I mean, Dante Jackson, he's already 26 though. So I don't know if that's really the best thing to do. Um, who else? Who else is like relatively young that we can maybe... I mean, Van Der Esch might be a guy that we go after. Like three years. Overpay a little bit. Um, we have money. So I'm not like super concerned about money right now. And three years, like, that's fine. We can get him off the books in a couple years. Ronnie Harrison could be interesting. He's cheap too. Let's uh let's do four years. Give him a bigger signing bonus and see if we can snag him. Ooh, okay, let's lower that. Let's lower that quite a bit. We don't need to overpay that much for a guy like Ronnie Harrison. Um, okay, that did nothing. Hello? Uh, let's do like 2.5. I mean, that's cheap. For four years, That's I, I will gladly take that. Sydney Jones, I mean, two-year deal. I would love a two-year deal here. And then maybe we can undercut Washington just a little bit. I mean, do we need corners, though? We got oh, Amani. I mean, I guess we do. If we can get him for real cheap, uh, I'll do like a two-year deal. I, I'll honestly do like a three-year deal for, for that cheap. Yeah, I mean, we'll see if he picks us. We'll see if he picks us. Um, I mean, what else do we need? D Ford, Smoot. Again, we would have to overpay for some of these guys. So I don't know. Let, let's let's see who we get off of that group, and uh, we'll go from there. Like I said, we need a lot of talent, and <laughs> I mean, this team is just we're not good, right? And if we can win four or five games next season, I'll take that as a win. We got Harrison, Williams, Jones. We got everyone. We got absolutely everyone. That is awesome. All right. So let's look at this roster and see where we're at. This team is actually very much improved. Offensive line, we're looking really good. Let's move. Um, oh, we get Frank Ragno back too. I totally forgot about him. All right. Let's move. Uh, let's move Jackson to right guard. And then our offensive line is set. Our offensive line is looking really good. Love it. Really happy about that. And then... I, I accidentally discarded that. That's awesome. Let's try and do that again. If we can. <laughs> Let's get Jackson uh, to right guard. And then we have Jacoby Myers at wide receiver. DeAndre Swift at running back. I think we're pretty set. We'll roll with Jared Goff for another year. I, I don't think we're going to take a quarterback unless someone drops to us. Offensive line is looking great, though. Got Quentin Cephas, uh, St. Brown. I'm pretty happy with the receiver group for now. Defensively, Van Der Esch, we'll see how he does. Harrison, um, Jeff Okuda is back. So we are going to go with these three. Oh, oh Amani Oruwari, or Oruwari, uh has star development. So we'll actually start him and Jeff Okuda. Jones will just, I mean, he, he was cheap. He'll be a third corner. Um, and we didn't really go for anyone on the defensive line, but we will do that in the draft. Um, Flowers is 29. That might be someone that if we can maybe trade. And then Romeo Cuaro is 27. Maybe we trade both of them. That could work if we trade both of them. And yeah, I think I think that would be the move if we can. And maybe get a, another second round pick or something off of that. Let's try to do, do that. But uh, so far, so good. I'm liking the team. Uh, obviously, it's not a great team, but it's going to get better in the draft. So now into the 2022 NFL draft. We have pick one. We have pick 27. Um, definitely want to move up from 27 and I think I really want to go after the duo Aiden Hutchinson and David Ojabo. I think that would be a lot of fun to do in this rebuild and make this defense really freaking good. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. We could trade down if we wanted to, but I feel like this is the pick. I mean, we could go Kayvon, um, 
But I, I think I like the idea of matching up Aiden with David Ojabo again. So we are going to draft Aiden Hutchinson, star better development, 84 speed, 86 strength. Um, obviously, we know he is going to be very, very good. And now we can go just pick by pick and see when we want to move up. Kayvon goes number two to Jacksonville. Houston at three goes Evan Neal. The Jets at four go Kyle Hamilton. Giants at five take George Karloftis. The Panthers at six take Garrett Wilson. Okay. The Eagles at seven take Tyler Linderbaum. That's a good pick for the Eagles. Uh, Matt Corral goes to the Jets. Jesus. All right. This game is so dumb. The Raiders, they take uh, Ikonwu. Uh, again, also, if I say any names wrong, I apologize. I don't know how to speak English. Um, let's see. I mean, Devin Lloyd would be sick, too, if we could. Derek Stanley's. Whoa, why is Derek Stanley dropping so far? Hello? Huh, okay. There might be some really interesting players. Maybe we do stay at 27. Um... Huh, okay. Well, let, let's keep going, see what happens. Kenyon Green goes to the Giants. Washington at 11 takes Derek Stingley. All right, I don't... Why did he drop so far? Pittsburgh is taking Gardner, another corner. The Atlanta Falcons at 13 is taking Jordan Davis. The Broncos at 14 take uh, DeMarvin uh, Leal. Uh, and then the Bengals will go ahead and take Kyer Elam. All right, now let's look at who who else. Devin Lloyd would be really nice. We would have to trade up, though, probably now. Andrew Booth would be also pretty nice to have. If Kenny Pickett drops to us, that would be really tempting. Hmm. Um, Desmond Ritter, Chris Olave. Oh, I really want David Ojabo, though. I wonder if, like, Trent McDuffie, Jamison Williams, or Drake London will drop to us in the second round. What pick do we... Do we st we have our own second? Yeah, we do. And our own third. Okay. Jaquan Brisker would be nice, too. Sanders would be nice. Um. Okay. Well... We might just stay at... Ah, oh man, I really want David Ojabo, though. I think that would be so much fun to have. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see who the Saints take here. They take... They, they take Cross. Uh, and then the Eagles will take Andrew Booth. The Chargers take Devin Lloyd. And Minnesota takes Drake Jackson. Do we trade up here with Miami? And try... I mean... Uh, David Ojabo's sixth. Miami... Would Miami take a quarterback? Probably not. I mean, it's Madden, though. Um. Okay, I'm going to trade up with Miami. I'm going to at least try. And I, I want David Ojabo here. Okay, so this gets it done. 27 to 20. We're giving up Romeo Aquara. And a, a, a six. We have two sixes here. So the second sixth. We're taking Davis on for just cap reasons. We'll probably just cut him. And we move up to pick 20. Where we will jump ahead and take David Ojabo. So we are pairing Aiden Hutchinson with David Ojabo. I think that is sick. There is our pass rush duo. Star better development. 82 speed, 81 strength. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun with these two. I'm going to have a lot of fun with these two. And then uh, I we I believe we have the first pick in the second round. Oh wow, Drake London goes to New England. That's a great pick, by the way, for New England. Um, dang it, I was hoping that he would drop. That's all right. Uh, uh, this means that we probably just go more defense. Uh, Dean goes to the Browns. Kennard goes to uh, the Cardinals. The Titans will take Chris Olave. The Packers got to be so mad right now. Um, they take a defensive end. All right, the Eagles. We'll take Dotson. The Dolphins in our former st spot take Trent McDuffie. Okay, that's a bummer. I really wanted him to be there. Jamison Williams goes to Kansas City. Uh, the Bills take Hill. And the Cowboys will... Oh, the Cowboys take Jaquan Brisker. Dang it, man. That was going to be my pick there. 
I, I guess we go quarterback. Um, we could go Sanders and just go super heavy on, on defense or Jordan Battle. Oh man, that sucks, dude. I feel like Jordan Battle is going to be pretty good. That might be our pick. I would say it's between if Willis and Pickett are both there, I'll consider one of them. And then if none of them are there, I'll probably go with Sanders or Battle. Um, yeah, I think that's that would be John Mechie. Um, I don't know. I think I think that's that's probably the route I go. I guess we would take a quarterback if they're gonna drop like that. Sam Howell goes to the Bucks. The Ravens take Kirkland. And oh, this is my pick. Okay, both quarterbacks are there. Um, I wonder if anyone has two relatively high seconds. You know, like, do I take a quarterback? I really. Hmm. Does anyone have two seconds? Because I could trade my second and try and add two seconds this year. Uh, the Broncos have two seconds. I feel like that's too low, though. I would have to, like, trade back up. Um, who else has two seconds? Who was that? The Falcons? 45 and 56. Again, ugh. I would want something in the 30s. And then maybe something like the 40s or 50s, right? Oh, here we go. The Jets? 36 and 38. Let's try and let's try and work out a deal. Trade 33 and I'll give him a third. This won't work yet, but it's close. And then how much money do they have? Oh, they don't have a lot of money. Um Hmm. Who could we give up? They obviously need a quarterback. I don't think I'm going to take a quarterback this year. So let's look at I mean, I would love to give them trade flowers but money wise that won't work out we would unless they have a bad contract as well not that much money though there's no way um okay how about um i don't know i don't i don't really know who else i would give up at this point I don't want to give up anyone on my offensive line. I mean, we could give up. Like, mm, I don't know. I don't. There's no one I really want to give up. So then we'd have to give up a draft pick. I can just give up my last six round pick. Will this do it? No. Dang it, man. Um. Uh, let's see. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. I don't want to give up any of next year's picks. Let's say... I mean, I guess we can give them Julian O'Quara. Would they take that? No, it's really close, though. Dang it, man. Do we take a quarterback? I don't know if I want to take quarterback. Because if I got, like, 36 and 38, what we could do with that is go with... Like, we could probably still get a quarterback if we wanted to, but we could go, like, Sanders, and I guess we, we're good at safety, but Sanders and, like, Pickens, or... Hmm, well, shoot, man. I don't know. I don't know what to do. All right, well, I'm just going to stay. I don't really love anything. Um, and I don't think I could get really much. And I think Sanders would be a nice piece to this team. And just really work on, you know, the defensive line here. Uh, and I, I really don't want to take quarterback. So I'm just going to stay put. We're going to take Sanders here. Star a better development. 
and we are solidifying our pass rush that is that's a big deal we have we went out and signed safeties our defense is actually looking really good so i'm okay with that we'll take sanders and um we'll see who else is available here in the third round if one of those quarterbacks are there in the third round i'll take them uh they are not okay um let's see what do we want then uh i don't think i want to take a corner receiver is such a mess trayvon walker could be interesting henry uh dude i i don't know how to say that but i think oh adam anderson uh, we we have enough outside linebackers um i really want to go to uh, I, I needed to figure out how to say his name but I think this might be a solid speed. Four, five, six. We're just going to call him Henry for now. But I think this is the way to go. Normal dev, but 85 speed. I think we can develop him. We really do need inside linebacker help. So I think that's a good that's a good pick. So here is the draft recap. Uh, Toa Toa. To Toa Toa. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to say Toa Toa. I don't care. He's a 66 overall. Not great. But maybe we can develop him. We'll see. Sanders is 72, Ojabo is a 71, and then Aiden Hutchinson is a 79. Now I'm gonna move Aiden Hutchinson to outside linebacker, so he's gonna be left outside. Ojabo is gonna be right outside. Sanders will be um, at right end, and that's what we're gonna do with that. Henry Toa Toa, I'm actually probably just gonna start from day one, see if we can get him to start dev, and maybe he improves. We'll see. Um, if not, no big deal. Uh, we'll just we'll just move on. So uh, let's get into the 2022 season and uh hope things uh hope things uh i mean uh, top five pick hopefully we can get a top five pick hopefully we can get a quarterback and then maybe at that point we start really um figuring out like where this team is gonna go right so here is the team we're gonna go myers cephas st brown at wide receiver swift obviously at running back jared goff for one last year offensive line looks really good tj hawkinson uh, at tight end defense looks a lot of fun uh, we move Trey Flowers to defense van with Sanders our rush ends though will be Ojabo and Hutchinson Van Resch and Toa Toa uh, in at middle linebacker uh, or inside linebacker we got Williams and Harrison at safety uh, Amani Orwarie and Jeff Okuda and then Jones at corner um, so yeah there's a defense and I'm gonna go with so for playbooks, I'm actually going to go with, um, I think what I want to do is really focus on DeAndre Swift. So we're going to go with, we'll keep three, four under. That's fine. But I'm going to go Kansas City. Uh, let's see. Kansas City defense just because of the pass rushers that we have. And I think that's the best. Actually, we'll do, we'll do base three, four. There we go. And then, wow, look at that. 100%. That is awesome. And then offensively, I'm going to go Carolina. And then we'll do um, like vertical zone run, maybe. Yeah, we'll do vertical zone run and just get DeAndre Swift the ball as much as possible. Uh, Jaco Jacoby Myers will be our slot receiver. And yeah, that's going to be the roster. That's going to be the team. And we'll see how we do uh, at the midseason uh, spot. Midway through the season, we are two and five. There's a tandem breakout on the offense. What is this? This is interesting. Uh, Quintus Cephas challenged Quintus Cephas or... Oh, man, Jacoby Myers took our last game. What? I don't know. We'll challenge him. I don't know. That was stupid. I don't... I don't you didn't challenge yourself? Oh, Jacoby Myers has earned 25 X, X, XP. Uh, get Quint... Oh, okay, so it's Myers challenging Cephas. That was all sorts of messed up. I don't think it actually does anything, to be honest, but whatever. We are two and five, though, so we've won two games. That's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, look at to see if any dev traits have been unlocked um, and then make sure the roster is all good. Myers has an upgrade. Um, we'll go ahead and look at what that. Let's see. Let's do let's do deep threat. Get him into his. Uh, um whatever plus two deep route plus one catching and uh yeah get him into like for the system whatever i don't dude I, my brain oh my god aiden hutchinson's x factor i did not know that that's awesome david ojabo is star miles sanders doesn't have his yet 
But Aiden Hutchinson has X Factor. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. You like to see that. Uh, and let's make sure everything else is set. We're all good there. And um, cool. So we are two and five. We just beat the Eagles 38 35. And let's go ahead and look at the season stats so far. Jacoby Myers is actually leading, is a leading receiver. Um, let's see. Jerry Goff, 12 touchdowns to nine picks. Not great. Swift, 367 and five touchdowns. That's not good. But Carolina's offense, really? That sucks. Uh, Jacoby Myers, though, 44 catches, 677 yards, and six touchdowns halfway through the year. That's amazing. That is awesome. Uh, defensively, let's see. Let's look at sacks here. Three and a half for Trey Flowers. Three for Hutchinson. Two for Ojabo. Um, tackles for loss. Eight for Hutchinson. Four for Ojabo. Interceptions. Okuda has two. Hutchinson has one. Van Der Esch has one. Harrison. Amani. Williams. And Henry Tua Tua has, an, has a pick. Sweet. Force fumbles. One a piece for Okuda and Harrison. Any safeties or touchdowns? No touchdowns, no safeties. So that's kind of what it's looking at so far throughout halfway throughout the season. And uh, yeah, Jacoby Myers is second in receiving yards. That is pretty sweet. Tom Brady leading the league in yards. Um, anyone else defensively? Let's see, interceptions, four for Humphrey. Um, but yeah, I don't really see anyone else. Khalil Mack has 11 sacks. Donald with 10, Vita Bay with eight. Good Lord. All right, well, not bad. Got some uh, negotiations here, at least halfway through the season. There's three. So let's go ahead and we're obviously keeping TJ. We'll do like a six year deal, up the money a little bit. Keep him till he's 31 years old. Um, and then Jamal Williams, I'm probably just going to let go. Uh, Amani or Warrior, though, I do want to keep. Let's do... I Honestly, I think two years is like is safe. Um, so we'll do that. And honestly, I think after that, I don't think I'm going to really sign anyone else. So Jamal Will Williams, we will go ahead and let go, though, and just focus on DeAndre Swift. End of the season, and we went 16-11. I'll take that. That's pretty good. That is, um, I'm super happy with that. Real quick, I do want to see, there was one more dev trait that we needed to look at. And Sanders does have star dev. Aiden's up to an 81 overall. Jabo's at a 75. Uh, 69 overall for Totoa. So that's good. That's really good. Jeff Elkut is up to 78. Amani is now corner number three for some reason. Um, that got moved around, I guess. Not really sure why, but okay. And Jacoby Myers is playing up to an 82 overall. We have 158 staff points, so I'll go ahead and use those in a little bit here. But let's get to... Um, actually, let's look at the numbers here on the year. We were 28th offensively. Jerry Goff didn't have a terrible year. Uh, defensively, wow, we were bad. 31st. DeAndre Swift ran for exactly 1,000 yards. That's disappointing. Points scored, we were 26. Jacoby Myers had a great year. Points allowed, we were 30th. So, not great there. But Jerry Goff, 4,300 yards, 34 touchdowns, 23 picks. That's not good. Rushing wise, again, Swift, 1,000 yards and 8 touchdowns. Not great. Myers had a great year. Quintus Cephas had a great year. St. Brown had 800 yards. Hawkinson only had 506 touchdowns. Uh, we'll probably change the playbook since it didn't do what I really wanted it to do. Vanderish had 142 tackles. Goodness. Tackles for loss. McNeil had 13. H Hutchinson had 12. 11 for Vanderish. Um, Hutchinson did not do what, what I was hoping for, at least with the pass rush. Trey Flowers had seven sacks, six for Hutchinson, five for David Ojabo. Uh, Sanders had three and a half. And then interception was uh, Hutchinson had two. Van Rush had two, Okuda had two, Amani had two, Will Harris and Williams had two, Ajabo had one, Toto had one, Harrison Jr. had one. Uh, force fumbles and no force fumbles. And let's see, uh, there was one safety by Trey Flowers and no touchdown. So those are the numbers on the year for the team. Uh, did anyone, was anyone in the top three in any category? Um, no, I don't 
believe so. Brian Burns had 19 sacks. 1,900 yards for Nick Chubb. Tom Brady broke the passing record, at least yardage-wise. Um, but, yeah. There you go. Cool. So, let's get to the uh, Super Bowl. See who wins it. The Bears went 12-5. and five. Wow. Okay. And in the Super Bowl, it's Browns and the Cardinals. We can upgrade some players. Aiden Hutchinson has an upgrade. It's probably not upgrading, like, anything else. His power moves are at an 89. Um... Let's do speed rusher. Let's get his speed rushing up a little bit too. So he's up to an 83 overall. Plus one finesse moves. But overall, if we can get just his pass rushing up in general, that would be pretty sweet. And we'll see who wins the Super Bowl here between the Browns and the Arizona Cardinals. And it is the uh, Cleveland Browns win Super Bowl 57, 27, 24. Chris Barnes wins Super Bowl MVP. Mahomes won MVP. Urban Meyer, Coach of the Year. That's not happening. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, Offensive Player of the Year. Khalil Mack, Defensive Player of the Year. Rookie of the Year is Matt Corral with the Jets. And Defensive Rookie of the Year is Kayvon Thibodeau with the Jags. Did we miss on that? Maybe. Hutchinson didn't do much, but he is X-Factor, so I'm okay with it. And let's. Uh, we should probably work on staff points. That would help. And uh, let's honestly, let's work on like some of these, I guess. Pursuit, stamina, tackle. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Um, block shedding, strength. That would be awesome if we got that. We should probably unlock X Factor as well. That would that would be smart. Um, let's do. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Let's do maybe this side and let's work on the defense and get these guys developing because I do, I think this defense is going to be really, really good. Um, and then we'll boost strength for sure. And we'll just do that for now. And then offensively, we can, we can work on the offense and we'll just do that. And then maybe we can work on other stuff next year, but I do want to make sure that development wise that, you know, we're, we're really good. So let's do that and we'll do boost tackle. So we'll up that as well. So here we are into a free agency. I, I didn't go ahead and resign anyone else. Um, but Deron Payne is here. That would really help at defensive tackle. That's one of our biggest holes. Um, and he's only 26. I think that might be a guy that we go after. I believe there is a defensive tackle in the draft, but I mean, we could just, we could draft him and then move him, you know, move someone to defensive end or whatever. So it's not the worst thing in the world. If we could somehow get Deron Payne, I think that would be pretty sweet. Like a, I don't know, like a five-year deal and up the money quite a bit. I'm not worried about money just because we can move Trey Flowers. Um, and uh, we could honestly probably cut him and we'd be fine. So I'm going to go after Deron Payne. I think that's probably the best thing I could do here. And then if we can maybe get a little bit more money, there might be a corner that we go after as well. But let's go ahead and look at team salaries. We could probably trade Trey Flowers. It depends though. Let's look at savings here. And uh, I mean, we could cut Jared Goff. Uh, well, we'll trade Jared Goff, I guess. And then we can trade Trey Flowers. Um, who else? Brockers, honestly. Goodbye. We're just going to release Brockers. Um, and then who else do we want to cut here? By Tay, we'll cut. We're not going to get anything for a six, 66 overall. And let's see who else. I think that's probably it. Yeah. For now, that's, uh, I mean, we can save a mil here. So we'll go ahead and release him. But let's trade Jared Goff and let's trade Trey Flowers. And maybe we can get a uh, first round pick off of that. 
Okay, that worked. I did not think that was going to work. So we have two first round picks. I just trade one of them along with Jared Goff and Trey Flowers for the number one overall pick. I don't think we're going to keep the number one overall pick, but I, I honestly did not think that would go through. Um, wow. Okay. We might have been able to get a little bit more. I don't know. Uh, but we got the number one overall pick. That is sweet. So we obviously have a little bit of money available now. We have a lot of money av available now. Um, Bobby Wagner is 33. We're not going to go after him. Um, let's go after... Let's see. We're going after Deron Payne. I want... Uh, do we need a back... We do need a backup running back. Tony Pollard, though, is better than Swift. I don't really want to do something like that. What we could do... Is get someone like a Marcus Davenport. That would really help our defensive line. Hmm. At, at the other defense event, since we just traded Trey Flowers. Sean Murphy bunting... I would like to go after. Um, we can just let Sidney Jones go after this season. Oh, man. Sean Murphy Bunting, I think, would be a really nice addition for for the team. Go, like, four-year deal. He's 26, so I don't know. If we get him, we get him. Um, who else is in here that I would like to go after? Let's see. Um, Alexander Mattinson. He's a 79 overall. Another running back. Four years. He's really cheap. So we can do that. Just have a, a nice running back duo. Um, I do need a fullback. So we can go after Andy Janovich. Oops, not that long. We'll do two years. Up the money. We'll get him pretty easily. That's a lot of money to spend on a on a fullback but we can just let him go it's only a two-year deal um we do need a kicker so let's go grab evan mcpherson like a five-year deal boom we should be able to get him pretty easily and oh greedy williams was the other corner that i was thinking about he's only 25 maybe we go after greedy instead since he's younger we'll give him a five-year deal and i think he'll end up being better anyways and we will um, I mean, if we get Sean Murphy bunting, I guess, uh, no, I'm going to withdraw. I'm going to withdraw there. All right, cool. So those are the free agents we're going after. We have a load of, we have a ton of money, um, after making a couple of trades. So I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and advance to the next week here. And look at our offense is an 85 overall and we're a quarterback away and there's quarterbacks in this draft class. Let's look at the mock draft real quick, and I'll show you guys a couple of players. So Corey Rivers is supposed to go number one. I don't think he's that good. I think Matt Morrison might be the best quarterback. Um, at He's 95% completed on my thing, but his accuracies are really good. He's slow, but that's something that I don't think would matter in Sim. Um... I don't need him to, you know, like if this was something that I was like playing every game, then I don't think, but he looks really good and it, he has elite throw power, I think. So that's why I'm, I'm, yeah, elite throw power. He, he's just, he's really slow. He looks really good though. Um, the other quarterback is that I was looking at. Where is he? He's not even projected going in the first round. I don't know. Maybe it's messed up. Um, or maybe I forgot. Maybe it's Colt Hayes. I don't remember. I'll, I'll look a little bit later. But then there's a safety. Well, this defensive tackle looks really good. There's a, This is a really good defensive tackle class, though. But there's a safety that I was looking at that looks insane. Where is he? I forget what his name was. Um, oh, man. I don't see him. The, the mock drafts are so weird. Let's just look into prospects and look here. Uh, here we go. Stackhouse. He looks really good. So, fast to safety, 4.44. Um, the vertical is great. Three cone, great. 20 yard shuttle, great. Like, physically, he looks insane. And then, A pursuit, B man, A awareness. I want to know more about him. 
but physically he's insane and then man coverage is a b that's really good for a safety like honestly and he's six foot four too like he's insane i want to know more about him so we're definitely going to do that uh matt morrison was the quarterback that we had marked oh maybe it was Corey rivers that was another quarterback let's see good throw power i know it wasn't Corey rivers oh my god who was it was it was it Colt Hayes? There was another quarterback that I remember liking. Decent throw power. It's definitely not him. I think there was. It was like great throw power. And um, oh, was it? It was either Caldwell or Knight. Let's see here. So yeah, look at his accuracies are good. Great throw power. Oh, marginal speed. I guess that went down. He was supposed to have like good speed, but I guess that went down. And then Knight, 6'3", 22 years old. Great throw power. Ran a 4'6'1". Um, a actually deep. Throw on the run is a B. Play action is a B. Like, he actually looks better, I think, than Matt Morrison. He just doesn't have the elite throw power. But he's faster. And his accuracies aren't as good. But his throw on the run and play action is better. So, I think, instead of Matt Morrison... I think the pick might be Jared Knight, which we might be able to get him later on, which would be really nice. So maybe we do go with that safety. I know we 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 have we signed two safeties, but we could even move Sackhouse to inside linebacker. We can move him to corner depending on his cover skills. We can we can trade one of the other um, players, but Stackhouse looks really good. So maybe I'll trade down, grab a, a couple of extra picks, and look at some other players. But yeah, I think um, I think that might be the route we go. We'll see. This looks like a really good draft, though. I can't believe we have the number one pick. That's hilarious. Um, and then as far as guys we signed, we signed everyone except for Greedy Williams. D dang it. Okay. Well, we don't get Greedy Williams. Is Does he happen to be there? Uh, who was that? Uh, Sean Murphy Bud? I don't think he's going to be there. No, he's not. Yeah, I don't see him. Um, hmm. We could go Bryce Callahan. No, I, I'm i okay. I'm okay. I don't think it's a great corner draft. Let's so, uh, let's see. Um, when do we get to select, like, three players? I forgot to do it in the middle of the season. So, we need to do that. But I'll probably look at that safety and maybe a defensive tackle here we go so private workouts also there was a receiver that i really really liked um i wrote his name down hold on weston uh, i don't think i marked him i just wrote his name down where is he yeah here we go uh well he's dropped though a lot huh i wrote him down so i, I want to know more about him and then there's another one i was just looking at like speed and it was I think Fowler, where is he? Is he not in here? Oh, here we go. No, that's Flowers. I wrote down Fowler. I don't see a Fowler, though. He was like... Oh, here he is. Did he drop? Huh. I think he's supposed to be... I think he's like the fastest receiver. I was looking for the really fast receiver, but... I don't know. Eh. He's probably not good. Um... All right, well, let's look at who else did I have written down. So, Weston. Um, actually, you know what? I should probably... I think there's a glitch in this game where if you go through position by position, it doesn't work. So, we'll just have to find Weston like down the board. Um, Matt Morrison, we know a lot about. Do we know a lot about Jared Knight? Yeah, okay. I think, I think we're going to go Jared Knight. I don't need to know more about Jared Knight. Um, I want to know more about Stackhouse, and I want to know more about, let's see, where's that receiver? I wonder how far down the list, what was his name again? Weston? Uh, okay, Weston, I want to know more about, and I want to know more about, uh, there was another guy that I had written down. It's a middle linebacker. Hennings? Henning? Here we go, Hennings. Okay, so let's look at these three guys. 
and uh, get to know more about them because those were the physically like really good players that looked uh, looked like guys that I really wanted so or wanted to know more about. And let's move to the next week and get to know some of these guys. Again, just physically, they look good. Stackhouse, I think, is is like insane. Um, I think he's gonna be like a 78. So we don't necessarily need a safety, but like I think he's gonna end up being one of the better players. So it's kind of hard to I don't know. It's kind of hard to pass up on a guy like him. And we can move him around too. He's 6'4". Like that's the first thing that caught my eye, right? 80% complete. Zone cut. His archetype is zone A zone B man. Yeah, we I don't we can move this guy around. We can we can figure out where to put him. Um whether it's inside linebacker, safety, corner, he's insane. We've got to take him. Uh okay. And then there was Weston. Let me go to wide receiver here. And where is he? Okay, so he's a round one or two guy. Deep threat. His catching is only a C. Okay, he ran a 4-4-7. A, a B spectacular catch, B short route running. I don't know. Maybe not. He ran a 4-4-7, kind of middle of the road, everything else. Yeah, so like his speed... Like, a lot of his stuff said great to Elite, or solid to good, and I guess it, it ended up mm, not being as good as I wanted him to be. I don't know. Maybe we, we still take a shot. We'll see. And then there's a wide re or a middle linebacker that we went and looked at. Field General, Ross Hennings. He's six foot three, but he's fast. Ran a four four five. Yeah, he's physically ridiculous. B power, B power moves, B man, B tackle, B zone. He looks solid. Um, I don't know if he's gonna be great, but as a later round guy, I think we can go after him. Defensive tackles. There's a few guys as well. Uh, I wrote down one name, Meadows, but I, cause I was, I, I don't think he was like really late, but like, yeah, day three, but physically he's really good. I think. Um, great strength. I guess it might have dropped a little bit. His speed's not great. Power moves is a C. Eh, he's not that good, actually. He's not that good. Some of these changed throughout the years, so... He looked better before. Jonathan McLeod looks ridiculous. Don't think we're gonna take him, though. I don't think we really need a defensive tackle now, so... I'm not really worried about that. Um... We do need... Like, if we can find another wide receiver. I don't know. It didn't really look like a great receiving group, though, this year. A catching, actually, for him. Glenn Miner. Ran a 4-4-3. I don't know. He looks pretty good. But, again, we'd have to spend a first-round pick on him. Hmm. I don't know. I was hoping that Wes maybe would be, like, a second or third-round guy. I don't know. This will be... A very interesting draft but I think we're gonna trade down from one and maybe add try and get like a first next year uh, and then get down to like two or three and then take that safety big trade here we're trading down from one to three we're giving up our first round pick next year because it's value very high for the Giants pick because um, I think we're gonna be much better this year and we got a second from them next year um, I didn't really want a second this year, so I want another second next year. So the Giants, uh, pick number one, will go ahead and take Corey Rivers, the quarterback. They needed a quarterback. Uh, I want the quarterback later on. And then what we're going to do, if the Eagles take the safety, we're going to take the defensive tackle. We need both. I'll take both. Um, they take the defensive tackle. Okay. So Jonathan McLeod goes. We're going to take the safety. We don't necessarily need a safety, but this guy looks really, really freaking good. We just have to take him. I could play him at corner. I could play him at inside linebacker. He's insane. 90 speed, 90 jumping, 86 change of direction, 90 agility, 95 acceleration. Star or better development as six foot four. Are you kidding me? This guy's absurd. Absurd. The Broncos take Colt Hayes. Okay, now we have pick. What 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 pick do we have? 
pick nine. Okay, I think the quarterback that we want will still be there. It's Jared Knight, right? And he uh, is not supposed to go for a what? Whoa. Okay, 21. We might be able to take someone else and then maybe trade up. Is there another player that we want All right, around nine? Um, Like a, a defensive end? Like Harold Clinton? Six foot five. B power moves. He's slow. A impact block. I don't know enough about him, unfortunately. Um, we don't need outside linebacker help. Um, five foot nine. Uh, um, I don't really see anyone that I would really want. I mean, Pruitt maybe. 22 B finesse moves ran a four five three a hit power B pursuit he looks pretty good um he's strong too huh he might be a, a really nice piece on that defensive line and then maybe we try and trade back into the first with I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'm going to trade down, add maybe another pick next year, and then just go with what I was going to do. Hmm. There's the receiver that I was looking at, the inside linebacker I want. So honestly, if I can get maybe another second, trade this first, gain a second, I'll take that. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, Matt Morrison goes. So we wouldn't have gotten Matt Morrison anyways. Uh, New Orleans will take Chris Reddick. The Chargers will take Thompson. And the Jets will take Carlos Nichols. So from pick nine to like maybe... I don't know. Um, let's see what drive. So like the Bills, another third. And then maybe we can use that to trade back up. Uh, we could get the... Bucks pick. I don't want to move down that far. Um, let's see. 2023. I still need a first in the 2023 draft. The Patriots at 14. I would get a second from next year. Um, the Packers at 19. That might... Ooh, that's close. Then we get to get a second. 19 is close. I don't know... Um, the Colts offering a second and a third. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with the Colts at 20. We're gonna trade down, get the Colts pick, and then maybe trade back up with the picks that we got. So Harold Clinton goes, Pruitt goes, uh, Aldridge goes, Jones, the Bills will take a read. The Patriots take Sheldon. Okay, so this is where I'm starting to get a little nervous with the Falcons here. And there's still Chris Caldwell and Knight. So maybe when Caldwell goes, then I I take Knight right after. Caldwell's got to go before Knight. I think. I hope so. Gresham goes. And Ben Stevenson goes. Kevin Higgins goes. There's no way the Packers and Bengals take a quarterback. Well, the Packers might. The Packers might. Okay, I'm not going to risk it. I think they lost Aaron Rodgers. They do have Jordan Love, but I'm not going to risk it. We'll trade with the Packers. Division rival. Make sure we get the quarterback that we want. Um. And... Yeah, we'll give them. Um, uh, I'm probably not going to use a fifth. It's one pick, so I'll give them a fifth. That should do it. Who do they have a quarterback? Yeah, Jordan Love. They're going to take quarterback. So let's move with them. We give them a fifth. We move up one spot. And with the 19th overall pick, we are going to take a quarterback. Uh, Chris Caldwell is six foot six. 
21 years old, ran a 494, great throw power, A accuracy mid, A accuracy short, throw under pressure as a B. He looks, I mean, this was a really good quarterback class. He looks pretty good too. Obviously, the speed, though, messes with me. Um, and I think Jared McKnight still has great throw power, good speed. Ran a 4.61. A, accuracy deep. B, play action. B, throw on the run. I think he looks a little bit better. So we're going to go with Jared Knight. Star or better development. 92 throw power. 84 speed. 89 change of direction. 88 agility and 91 acceleration. He looks really good. That's our quarterback. And we will uh, get to the second round where hopefully that receiver is there. If not, we'll, we'll look around, but that receiver would be... Oh, he just went, Justin Weston. Oh my God, he just went. That's, inf that's so frustrating. We do need another defensive end. Eh, he doesn't look good. Dang it, man. That's who I wanted. Um, we can look at corners. I don't, I don't really want to look at corners right now. I don't, I don't, I, I remember looking at corners and I didn't see anyone that I liked. There's another receiver, Nate Fulton, six foot four. He ran a four, six, three. Yikes. A spectacular catch, man. Um, okay. Who else was on? Who else did I write down? Hennings. Maybe we just trade this pick and say, just take an L. Oh man, I didn't do a whole lot of scouting anywhere else, which kind of sucks. Mm. What other positions do we really need right now? We need wide receiver, linebacker, who I'm gonna take in a bit. And then defensive end. I just don't think there's any. I mean, we could take another defensive tackle. Okay, so we're gonna take Demario Webster, six foot five, two eighty five. We might be able to move him to defensive end or Deron Payne. Um, ran a four nine, first among defensive tackles. A hit power, B block shed, B awareness, C stamina. Um, I think he looks actually really good. So let's take him, improve our defensive line, eighty nine strength, only normal dev. That kind of sucks. But 89 strength is good. 75 speed is good. I think he can end up being really, really good. It depends on his finesse, or his his power and finesse moves. But he looks actually pretty good. And then I think I'm just going to take the linebacker here in the second round. Because I think he was like a third round guy. Or like second or third. Um, hopefully he's still there. Yeah, Hennings. Yeah, round two to three. Um... But it's right before. I figured he'd go in the third or late second. So I think I'm going to take him. He's fast. Yeah. We'll take Ross Hennings. Normal dev. Dang it. 91 speed. 80 agility. 90 acceleration. I was hoping that would be star better. But he looks good. We'll see what his overall is. But not bad. All right. Draft recap. Let's get in this thing. 80. <laughs> 83 overall. Oh my god. Richards, I told you guys, he was insane. 83 overall. That's one of the highest overalls I've ever seen. That is ridiculous. Usually I see that with running backs and corners, but that is awesome. Uh, Jared Knight, 72 overall. Not great, but okay. Um, Webster was a 74 overall. And then Hennings was a 74 overall. Not bad. That's a really good draft. That's a really good draft. I wish these two had star better development, but... I think Knight has star better. Stackhouse has star better. So I'm okay with that. Let's look at who we missed out. I did. I was thinking about taking Morrison. So I definitely want to look at him. Star better. Okay. What was his dev trait? Star or, or I guess I'm just hoping for star. Right. Um, hopefully. Because the only reason why I didn't take him is because of his speed. It's the only reason he has superstar. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I figured he was going to be really good. Corey Rivers. He was the number one pick. I did not think he looked that good. He's a 74 overall, though, which is better than Knight. We'll see what his dev trait is. It is star, so... Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, McLeod. What was his? Because I thought about... I, I was thinking, like, if I take... If the Eagles take 
the safety, I'll take McLeod. Um, and he has, oh my god, he has X-Factor. Holy crap. That dude's insane. That dude is insane. Okay. Alright, well, that's kind of a bummer. Um, let's see who else. There was another 79 overall defensive tackle. Uh, Aldridge was a 77 overall. Turner was a 76 overall corner. Um, let's see. Wide receiver. Justin Weston was a 75 overall. I mean, it's not great. 93 speed. Really wasn't a great wide receiver class. It wasn't really that great of a class in general. Like, there was 177, 178, 179, and an 83. It's not really that good. Yeah, not a great class. So, all right. I think we overall did pretty good um, with this with this class. Now we just need this quarterback to really develop and be as good as possible. All right. So here is the team. Knight at 72 overall will play. We'll start right away at quarterback. Obviously, We've got Myers. Cephas is up to star dev. Uh, I'm on St. Brown. DeAndre Swift, Mattinson at running back, Hawkinson. Offense should be much better this year, hopefully. Um, and then the defense looks good. Hennings will be the backup linebacker, or I guess linebacker two, inside linebacker, with uh, Toa Toa. I kind of, it kind of sucks that Toa Toa, I mean, he went from like a 66 to a 70. He really developed really well, but Van Der Esch is going to start. Stackhouse is going to start at strong safety. Um, not sure what we're going to do with Harrison. We'll see. Um, and then we got Sanders, Payne, and then Anzarike. Well, hmm, where is, is this the rookie that I drafted, Demario Webster? Let's, let's move him to, uh, defensive end. We'll move him to left end. I think he'll be better there anyways, and... We'll see how he develops. Maybe by the end of the year, he's star dev. Um, so we'll move him to a defensive end. And... Um, oh, no, he goes down in overall. But 72, same as Anzarike. So we'll see how he develops. Uh, and then we got Amani, Akuda. Yeah, this team looking much better. Corners would definitely need a lot of work on. Uh, so that will be probably our main thing in the draft next year is corners and I guess maybe defense men and wide receivers. But yeah, that's the team. We'll see how we're doing at the midway point. Midway through the season and we are four and three. The Packers are six and oh, what? All right. Well, that's unfortunate because I believe I have one of their picks. I thought they were going to be bad. All right. Well, just want to say I really appreciated you involving me in the game plan. Keep throwing it my way. Did someone just... Oh, Jacoby Myers can get up to Superstar. That is awesome, and that needs to happen. Um, so that would be great. Choose national focus position. Um, I believe it's wide receiver. Uh, yeah, so we want it to be wide receiver here. And then our number two is corner. Um, but they're not... Oh my god, this, this game is so... It's so bad. It is so bad. All right. It's fine. It's fine. I don't I don't care. Um, but big game against the Falcons midway through. Let's go ahead and look at free agents here this season. Um, DeAndre Swift is up to an 86 overall. Definitely want to try and bring him back. Uh, maybe like a three-year deal. Will you take that? Okay, cool. Three-year deal. Happy with that. Tomlinson, um, yeah, uh, if he wants like a, okay, here we go, like two years, two year deal, six mil, I think, I think that's fair, um, Jeff Okuda, we definitely want to bring back, we'll do, we'll do four years, five mil, um, hopefully he develops into being a really good player for us, Quintus Cephas has star dev at 25, okay, a two year, uh, let's do three year, I think, um, I think that's perfect. I think he'll take that. He's cheap. We still have 65 mil to play with, so I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, Jonah Jackson, five-year deal, cheaper deal, or che cheaper contract, I guess, for an offensive lineman. Not bad. Uh, Julian Okwara, I'm just going to let go. Well, I mean, I guess he'd be good 
depth, but we've already replaced them. So there we go. Big signings over the off season. Let's look at our numbers here. Yeah, uh, any oh Jared Knight, 2,400 yards and 20 touchdowns leads the league. Let's go. Jacoby Myers, 49 catches, 754 yards and 10 touchdowns. Calvin really has 64 catches. Aiden Hutchinson has 10 sacks. Let's go. Oh my God, look at these guys go. That is awesome. Look at all those guys on the leaderboards. I love it. First in yards, second in touchdowns, third in passer rating, third offensive yards, 27th defensive yards. Not great. DeAndre Swift is uh, not doing so hot, but whatever. Points scored were second. Myers, first in touchdowns, third in catches, second in yards. Points allowed were 14th. That's actually pretty good. Um, Swift only 298, but eight touchdowns. Hawkinson with 47 catches, 544 yards, and four touchdowns. Cephas with 487. We're not even... Like, we're... We've only played seven games. And look at these numbers. That's insane. Hutchinson is unbelievable. Payne with three and a half sacks. Ojabo with three and a half. Uh, interceptions wise, Harrison has two. Amani has two. Akuda has one. That's weird that Ronnie Harrison has two picks and he's playing as. Uh, did it? Somebody get screwed up. No, Stackhouse leads the team in tackles. Okay. All right. Well, that's pretty sweet. Um, let's see. Force fumbles. Already two this year. We didn't have any last year with Payne and Sanders. Uh, safeties, none. Blocks, none. Uh, touchdowns, one by Ronnie Harrison Jr. So those are the numbers halfway through the year. That is awesome. Super cool. I will take it. And yeah, let's... Um, oh, you know what? We have some staff points. So let's try and help out this team uh, develop a little bit more. Uh, we could work on head coach, but maybe we'll do that at the end of the year. Um, let's see. Off, wait, did something change? Or no, we worked on defensive coordinator last year. Let's work on the offensive coordinator. Um, unfortunately, this quarter or this coordinator isn't working on the quarterbacks. This looks different. Why does this look so different? Who's carrying for quarterbacks? Stamina. Oh, I guess all that kind of sucks. So I guess this side is the better side. I don't know. It looks different. Why does it look so different? Huh. I don't know. Um, let's see. Catching for wide receivers. Catching for halfbacks. All right. Let's work on offense here. So let's do this. Boost release. And then boost catching. I think that would be a big help towards the team. And we will boost carrying as well um and then let's work on this side boost pass block and boost um i don't know i guess impact block for wide receivers so yeah we'll do that this team is looking really good uh very happy with this team so far let's see how the rest of the season goes we went 13 and 4 holy crap Oh my god, we just beat the Eagles 48-39. We got a bunch of upgrades. We can go through the upgrades. Why not? Rodney Harrison has an upgrade. He He's playing way more than I thought he would. Um, let's work on his run support. He might be a guy that we move to linebacker, I guess. You never know. I don't know. Uh, we have so many safeties. Jeff Okuda. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Hmm. Let's work on just slot. He's up to an 82 overall. Uh, plus two man, plus one tackle. And then Quintus Cephas. Let's work on. What is, what is he? He's six foot one, 89 speed. It's not great. Let's work on deep threat. Maybe we get speed for, uh, for that. We don't, but some route running improvements. He's only 25. I'm on St. Brown. We'll work on. on uh, Speed there or deep um one plus one spectacular catch yeah he's only he only has 86 speed we we do need a receiver uh jacoby myers is our number one and he is only he only has 88 speed so not great uh but let's look work on this deep threat so receiver is definitely something that we need to do uh we need to work on 
for next season. 100%. We need receivers. Our quarterback just probably had an insane year without great receivers. So you never know. Um, let's see. He was Colin Kaepernick led the league in, in passing. But Jared Knight was second. Myers was first among receivers. Knight, 5,400 yards, second. 45 touchdowns, third. That is unbelievable. Swift ran for 1,000 yards, 15 touchdowns. Points scored. We were the number one scoring offense. Myers had an unreal year. Seventh, by the way, in points allowed. But Jared Knight, rookie year, 5,400 yards, record. 45 touchdowns, record. Only 11 interceptions. Holy crap. Jacoby Myers with 111 catches, 1,794 yards, 24 touchdowns. That's got to be a record, right? Hawkinson with 107 catches, 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns. Cephas, 86 for 1,149, only two touchdowns. St. Brown at 655. Oh, my God. Defensively, Stackhouse was second among tackles. That's insane. Uh, TFL, 16 for Webster. Um, oh, my God. 21 sacks for Aiden Hutchinson in year two. 12 for Ojabo. 10 for Payne. Interceptions. Four for Stackhouse. All in the second half of the year. Okuda with three. Amani Orwarie with three. Van Resch with th two. Harrison with two. William Williams with two. Jones had one. Unbelievable year. Force fumbles. Ojabo had one. Payne had one. Webster had one. Sanders had one. Uh, no safeties. One touchdown from Ronnie Harrison. What an unbelievable year. Unbelievable. And this team isn't even close to being great yet. Holy crap. Aiden, TJ Watt at 26 sacks. Bosa at 22. Aiden with 21. That's insane. Insane. Um, let's see if there was any mid-season upgrades with dev traits. Because I know Myers had a breakout challenge. Uh, he did not get it. So he's still at star. Knight is at star. Dang it. I was thinking he was going to be higher than that. That sucks. Um, but he'll probably be at superstar by the end of the year. So not really too worried about it. Aiden Hutchinson is playing up to 92 already. That's ridiculous. Hennings is up to a 77. Um, Stackhouse is only star. Okay, well, hopefully that goes up to superstar. He's already playing up to an 88 overall, though. That's nuts. Okuda is a playing up to, or is that an 82? Oware is playing up to an 81. Payne's up to a 93, playing up to. This team is looking so, so good. So good. I mean, oh, Stackhouse is playing as a sub linebacker. I like, actually, that works perfectly. Because then Ronnie Harrison comes in. Okay, yeah, I love that. Oh, Swift and Mattinson were sharing carries. I'm fine with that. Um, actually, I'm not fine with that. Um, Myers has been the slot receiver. Oh, this team is so damn good. So damn good. Two seasons later, we are 13-4. and four. We do have a bye week. So let's see who we play in the divisional round. It's the 9-8 and eight Minnesota Vikings. And... They're only a 79 overall. We should be able to beat the crap out of this team. And we do. 28 to 10. And we're in the NFC Championship game. Play, okay, that's a good Dallas team. 92 overall offense. 80 overall defense. Might be a high scoring game. Can we beat... Oh, Micah Parsons had a year. Oh, well, nope. That was definitely wrong. And we're... Oh, no. I thought we were in the Super Bowl. I got so excited. Dang it, man. It's the Chiefs and Cowboys. All right, it's fine. We lost in the NFC Championship game. That's all right. That's all right. I mean, we need receivers, and maybe we look at corners, but our team is looking outstanding. Um, we've got some upgrades here. Aiden Hutchinson has two. Okay, let's give him speed rusher. Let's upgrade his finesse moves because then he's going to be unbelievable. If he can get up to like 90 finesse moves at some point. Plus three. Yeah. Uh, he's insane. 95 pursuit. 92 power moves. 85 finesse moves. Dude. Aiden Hutchinson is nuts. Richard Stackhouse. Um, up to superstar. 
Yes, we need his tackle up, especially if he's playing sub linebacker a lot. So let's do run support. It's not going to upgrade his overall, but that is something that needs to be upgraded. Plus two tackle. We didn't get block shed. Um, but his tackling needs to be better. His tackling definitely, definitely. Yeah, block sheds will only add a 52. So that's something that needs to be worked on. Jared Knight has seven upgrades. I've never, he's up to superstar, by the way. I've never seen that happen. 94 throw power. So that got upgraded as well, I believe. Um, what do we want to work on here? And you know what? Improviser would be kind of cool to get escape artists on him. Um, and the CPU is not going to upgrade that. So if we can get that like really high, that would be pretty cool. Just because then um, we could get whatever it's called. Uh, the um, escape artist on him. Although, I mean, it wouldn't matter in game, I guess. And his overall is not going up. But I'm not too worried about that. He's insanely good. So, whatever. Um, Improviser is now up to an 80. Yeah, I think this would be really cool to get him escape artist. That'd be pretty dope. Um, let's do strong arm this time, though. So, now he's playing up to an 85 overall. Yeah, he's really good. Really good. 95 throw power. His accuracies are all in the 90s, except for medium accuracy. Um, throw under runs in 88. Break sacks in 86. Under pressure is up to an 83. He's so good, man. He is so good. Superstar Dev. Are, like, that is... Oh my god, that is so sick. Um, let's look at... Well, let's see who wins the Super Bowl here real quick. And then we'll look at to see if anyone else got any uh, upgrades. I doubt it, since they didn't get... Um, uh, any whatever upgrades. Uh, Dallas won the Super Bowl, beating the Chiefs 29 26. Let's look at this season recap here. The MVP is Jared Knight. That's why he had so many upgrades. Rookie of the year, MVP in the same year, offensive player in the same year. Good lord. We won coach of the year, by the way. We like to lose. We don't like to lose anymore. Um, TJ Watt, defensive player of the year. Joey Dent is the rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year. It's a bummer that Aiden, Aiden didn't get DPOY, but TJ Watt went absolutely bonkers. So, you know, fair. He broke the record. It's fine. Uh, so let's see. Upgrades. How did Myers not get superstar? Are you kidding me? That is bogus. Absolutely bogus that he didn't get superstar. Uh, Stackhouse is up to... Oh, we saw that. Never mind. So yeah, no one else did, which is kind of crazy. But this team is insanely good. Insanely good. Uh, absolutely love it. And now we get into the offseason. We need to address a wide receiver. Probably corner. And what else? Maybe inside linebacker if we find a better inside linebacker than Hennings. But yeah, and then and, and Van Der Esch. Maybe we make a move if there's a really good linebacker in this draft, but we'll see. I think we signed everyone that we needed to. Um, we're not going to bring back Aquara. So, I mean, I guess we we could. Uh, nah. Well, mm, you know what? Let's do it. We have money. And if we just sign him to like a two-year deal, yeah, I, I, think, I think that's more than fair. He's really cheap. Just for depth, just in case. So we'll go ahead and do that. I don't know if it really matters that much um, in this game uh, when we're semming, but that's fine. And then let's we have a ton of staff points. So let's work on... Uh, well, let's first look at our trees here. Yeah, so I definitely want to do strength on the offensive line. That would really help out the team there. Let's do impact blocking. I think that allows us... Oh, no, we got to do this. Okay, that's kind of dumb, but whatever. So that will help our offensive line a lot. Um, and then this is, side is all maxed out. Defensively, let's max everything out. And um, yeah, I mean, our, our development is really, really good. And then maybe next year we work on like, you know, trading all that. But like... I, I mean, I think we're okay. I and mean, we could start working on...
player growth and do you know start working on this for next season i think that's fine but develop wise like our coordinators are really good developers um so that's great um and i think that's really helping out our team so let's do that and i think we're all good to go we're pretty much bringing back the same exact team and then we'll see what happens in the draft we traded our number one pick which was great i don't i forget who we traded it to but uh we'll see and then let's look at free agents so like i said corners wide receivers maybe inside linebacker um uh we got to look at offense line as well Ooh, you know what let's look at that because i know we had some older offensive linemen just in case someone retired we should probably look at that just in case i don't think anyone did based on our overall we should be fine yeah okay um, I think Tomlinson is the only older one. He's 32. So, but I think, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, but let's see. So yeah, wide receiver, I guess defensive end re replaced Webster. I don't think he really did that much. Um, inside linebacker and then corner. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at that. I think corner wise, we could really use like a big time corner, um, like a superstar, like a number one corner. Um, let's see. Do we, we have McPherson. I mean, we could take Tucker, but, uh, Gilmore is 33. I'm not going to really worry about or sign a 33 year old Michael Pittman. Ooh, I really like Michael Pittman. Um, JJ Watt, T. Higgins is only 25. Uh, okay. Tyler Boyd, no corners. Ooh, AJ Dillon. Um, let's sign. We need a backup tight end. So let's do that. Let's. We'll offer Higby a deal and see. I mean, no one's offered him anything, so we'll see if we can get him. Um, Deontay Harris. No. Uh, let's see. What else? Ooh, you know what? AJ would be kind of cool to get, and he's cheap. Cheap and young. So let's see if we can get him. Um, and... Hmm. Let's go for. Let's go for Michael Pittman. I think that's the and we could draft a receiver as well. But I really like Michael Pittman. He's one of my favorite players in the league. He's really good, big receiver, and I'm willing to pay quite a bit. I'll do four years. I'll do four years. I'm okay with that. Uh, he, if he's our number one, along with Myers, like one, one, two punch right there, he could easily be at like superstar, superstar X factor by the end of the year. So, um, he could actually have an insane season. So that would be a nice upgrade at wide receiver. We still need another wide receiver. So I can, uh, I'm more than happy to draft another wide receiver. Um, and we got him. We got everyone. That is beautiful absolutely beautiful okay all right so private workouts uh there's three players that i found that i really want to um see a little bit more so let's go ahead and find them i've already marked them so i can just go through so there's sheldon barrett a defensive end um and then the other guys are actually lower there's zeke wall and there's a receiver he's like super fast five foot nine we already have two relatively big receivers so i think bubba swain would be kind of cool and i like his name so i think that's kind of cool um so let's go ahead and confirm see how good those guys are and it, it takes i the scouting takes so long to kind of go through everyone it's insane it took me like 30 minutes to see like okay i like this guy this guy and this guy it just i don't know it, it needs to be faster and it we need to see more information we just it just drives me nuts with the new scouting, but it's all right. Let's see how good these guys are. It's going to kick me out, isn't it? Oh, this can take forever. So real quick before we start the draft, let's go ahead and look at these 
three guys that we wanted to look into a little bit more. Uh, Sheldon Barrett, 80% complete. He is a power rusher, a tackle. Uh, his, his block chain is really bad. But the what what I noticed the first time around uh, was the tackle. I wanted to know his power moves. How does it say, hey, he's a power rusher, but we're not going to give you his power moves? That is so dumb. I don't know if he's worth taking. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what his power rush is. That's so stupid. Um, where's the receiver? Bubba Swain. He's a deep threat. Makes sense because he's super fast. Elite speed. Ran a 4.37. He's not the fastest receiver. He's the fastest I found. Um, and then we know a lot. He's 100% scouted. A catching. His route running is meh. Um, his deep route's a B though. Uh, what's this? A spectacular catch is a D. I don't know. I don't know. Physically, he's, he's kind of insane. I I don't know. I, I'll take a shot. I'll take a shot at him. Why not? And then the corner looks really good. The corner looks insane. He's man to man. Okay. Um, and then his physicals are really good. Ran a 4-3-9. Block shedding is a B. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I said block shedding. Like the first thing I that I noticed. A catching. A man. We don't know his zone. Okay. I think he's the best corner. At six foot one. I think he's the best corner. So Oh man, what picks do we have this year? I don't remember. Cause they're mostly all first round guys, I believe. So this this might be tough to get all three of them. But we'll see. I, I really want the corner. I guess I don't necessarily need the defensive end. So we'll see. The Houston Texans have the number one pick in the draft. We have a lot of picks this year, though. Like, a ton. Oh, no, we have one first, but we have two, three seconds and two thirds, three fourths, two fifths. So maybe we can package those and get higher up in the draft. Um, we would need to be at, like, ugh, seven or eight for him. We can give up a future first teens for him and Bubba Swain could be maybe even an early second all right let's try and make some trades then all right so trade trading a future first that's not going to be the ninth pick a third this year and a fourth for pick seven um and then I want to try and get a high second round pick because I don't believe we have one of those yeah 48 is not good enough so let's trade um let's trade why can't i take these off um let's not trade a 48 and maybe let's find a high second i mean we know the texans have the number one pick so i would like to get the number one pick in the second round if we can do that we'll give them two seconds and that's accepted okay cool so i think we have all the picks that we need to try and get all three of these guys which would be really cool. Oh, and we're up. Okay. So let's take um let's take this defensive end. Where is he? Barrett. Sheldon Barrett. Power rusher 6'4, 274. I think he's gonna be perfect at defensive end for us. His block shedding needs to be better. But I think he's gonna be really good. Star or better development. 84 strength, 79 speed. Um, and then yeah, we don't we don't know anything else. It needs to tell us overall when we pick him. It's stupid. Um yeah it's it's dumb anyways next user pick let's go ahead and try really hope that that corner is there i feel like maybe we should have traded up a little bit more is he here he is zeke wall okay so we're just i'm gonna take him a man a catching we don't know his zone but he looks really good we're gonna draft him star or better development 96 speed <laughs> Oh my god, he looks insane. Zeke Wall, welcome to the team. All right. Now let's hope that the uh, wide receiver is there. And then we'll just let the computer do the rest for us. Um, let's go to wide. He should be there. Yeah, Bubba Swain. We need a deep threat. We already got a big receiver. Um, we just, we need... A big time like deep threat for us and i think this is a guy he's super fast he looks good a catching is a big deal 
eight kick returns. So we got our return man. Our corner or our wide receiver three has star better development. Three for three. I did not think he was gonna be it in development. That is amazing. 96 speed as well. Oh my god, we hit on speed this this season. Or this offseason. Bubba Swain. I like his name too. That's pretty sweet. All right. Well, there you go. There's a draft. I know we have high picks. I'll, I'll let the computer do it. Um, I just I it takes so long to find like to just go through the scouting i just don't want to do it anymore so hopefully the computer finds some good players for us nice depth players and uh we'll go from there i didn't see any players at linebacker that could play inside i'm happy with what i have so let's look at the draft recap see who they drafted for us as 76 overall sheldon barrett 81 overall corner zeke wall He's a nuts. Bubba Swain is a 75. They drafted Emmett Tatum. A 73 overall. 82 speed. Okay, so he's not an inside linebacker. But a backup outside linebacker. Okay. Um, a backup tackle. I mean, I guess the computer didn't do so hot with these overalls. But I'll take it. I'll take it. The top three, though, look fantastic. Let's see who we missed out on. Um, we got... The top player. Ooh, there was another safety. We don't need a safety, though. Barrett was the third. Okay, Stonemeyer was pretty good, too. Turner, Robinson, McIntyre. I don't know. I mean, this draft has a decent amount of depth. But I think we did all right. I think we did pretty, pretty good. All right. Well, let's get to... Year number, what is this? Year number three? Yeah, three, right? Three or four? I don't remember at this point. We're really good. Let's figure out the roster here and what we want to do. 87 overall defense, 85 overall offense. Our offensive line is fantastic. We have our tight end. Our receivers are looking really good. Hopefully we can get one of our receivers up to superstar next year. Um, unless Swain has a uh, better than superstar. Ooh, do we start him over Cephas, though? Um, I guess. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Um, Pittman will be wide out one with Myers. And then, yeah, I'm going to put Swain at receiver three, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Defensively, Wall will be... I'm going to make Wall corner one. Uh, and then it'll go Okuda and then Amani Oruarie. Stackhouse, Williams, a safety. Linebackers look good. And then, oh, we did get Epinesa. Okay. Um, I'll have Barrett just be a backup for now. Maybe he's better than Sanders if he has Superstar. So we'll see. Um, and then if he's better, then we'll, we'll move him up, right? If he has a, a good dev trait. Unless we want to... Just move him up now. You know what? Let's just move him up now. Screw it. Because I really want to know what he what he's going to be. And then we'll go Swift. Uh, Myers will be our slot, I guess. Um, and then slot corner will go Amani, I guess. And then... Oh, I want um, our safety to be our sub linebacker. That seemed to have worked really well. So we'll do that. And uh, yeah, that's the team. Mid season we are four and three actually i think the same record as last season when we were four and three and then we went crazy right after that um so all right well let's look at players that we need to re-sign over the off season here uh we do need to re-sign penne well. um okay so we'll give him honestly i'm gonna give him a massive deal seven years and uh that works out uh vanderesh i think i'm just gonna let vanderesh go i like our inside linebackers i don't want to pay him so i'm good there and honestly i'm gonna let amani or Warrie go too those will be players that we will need to replace next season i'm gonna bring back taylor decker to let's do like a two-year deal um and then let's see sydney jones i'll let walk he's gonna be 28 we'll bring back jano here, like another two-year deal. 
that's fine. Um, let's see, what else? Well, uh, we can bring back McNeil. He's our backup defensive tackle, so we do need him. And let's see, who else do I want to bring back? I think that's it. And then I guess we'll wait on Amani and Leighton Vander Esch and see if the draft or free agency has any better uh, players at those positions. But I'm okay with that. Let's look at the stats here. Jared Knight's going off again. He's awesome. Um, let's see, Jacoby Myers is going off again. He's awesome. Uh, let's see, we don't have any sack leaders, unfortunately. Stackhouse, though, is third in interceptions. Okay, so let's look at the stats here. I feel like we're not doing as well. Um, Knight, second in passing yards, sixth in touchdowns. We're second in offensive yards, 15th in defensive yards. Swiftly, 452 and four touchdowns. Points scored, we're third. Receiving wise, Myers is second in receiving yards, second in re receptions. Points allowed, we're eighth. So overall, as a team, we're doing really well. Uh, Jared Knight, 2,200 yards, 15 touchdowns, uh, five interceptions. Touchdowns are a bit low, but to be fair, we've only played seven games. So uh, Myers doing great. Pittman has already 503 yards. Hawkinson has 469. Bubba Swain has 340. Uh, and then defensively, Stackhouse leads the team in tackles. Um, Sacks-wise, Ojaba has five. Payne has four. Hutchinson has four. So... Um, just overall, I think everyone's kind of doing really well and just pitching in. But our defense needs to make bigger splash plays. Stackhouse does have three picks, though. Harrison has two. Hennings has one. Our corners don't have any. And then fumbles, forced fumbles. Ronnie Harrison has one. Uh, there was a one block, two blocks by Barrett and Aquara. No safeties and no touchdowns so far. But like I said, we're not even close to... We're two games away from being halfway through the year. Um, so, you know, our numbers are a little low, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Let's see. I, I doubt we can see any of the dev traits. Maybe the corner. I'm going to guess the receiver star, uh, defensive end is star, and the corner superstar. Let's go for that. Swain, we don't know. Uh, he's close, though. We'll know next week. I might just sim and show you guys next week. Uh, and then Barrett, we don't know. Sequel is an X Factor. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Zone coverage needs to be improved. But he has X Factor. Let's go. Oh, that is amazing. That is incredible. Um, shut down. And we'll do. Uh, let's say it'll be fooled. Um, catch passes that have been tipped in the air. Uh, acrobat. I think let's do. I think we're gonna do acrobat. Uh, yeah. So let's do acrobat. And then can he do the other? No, he can't. Okay, so not yet. All right. That's amazing. And then Aiden Hutchinson. Let's get his. I, I totally forgot to do this. Um, reinforcement. Uh, increase the chance of defeating run blocks. No, let's do. Um, either relentless or, um, win rate, block shed, speed, and one on one. Is it unstoppable force or relentless? Which one's better? I don't know. I'm going to go with relentless. And then, uh, oh, we can add one of these. Let's see. Um,. Let's see, use the guest play adjustment to bridge the pad. No. Um, prevent additional yardage. Adrenaline rush. Uh, pass rushers with this ability will have all their pass rush moves. Points restored after sacking the quarterback. Um, defenders with this ability will receive dominant bull rush wins when their pass rush points are full. Instant rebate. Defenders with this ability are refunded a pass rush point when they successfully shed blocks. Buy one, get one. Granted a free pass rush move once per play after spending a pass rush. Hmm. I don't know. Speedster. Um, defenders with this ability will ignore one bar of blocker resistance. I don't know. All of these look good. All of these look so good. Edge threat. 
Let's let's do edge threat. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Aiden Hutchinson is insane. Uh, and then let's see. I'm just gonna do X factors for now. Um, well, for night, I might do knights actually real quick. Let's see. Sleight of hand. That sucks. Um, let's do. Can I not change these? Uh. Hello? Okay, whatever. It's not working. I don't care. We'll wait till he gets to X Factor. Hopefully, he can be at X Factor by the end of the year. Um, but let's. I want to know what Bubba Swains is. So. Let's go ahead and sim one more week. Hopefully, this is a big game, by the way, against the Packers. This would be a huge win. We do win. 31 15. We take control of the division, which is awesome. And then. Let's look. At the roster here, Bubba Swain is a star. Okay. Well, not surprised. Not surprised. Uh, and then do we know Barrett yet? No, we don't. We might not know till the end of the year. Yeah. Okay. So awesome the end of the year. We're five and three right now. Hopefully we can finish like 12 and five. I'd be happy with that. We go 13 and four. Sweet. Sweet. We get a bye. We beat the Colts 31-21 final week of the year. Jeff Okuda. Uh, let's give Okuda. It's not going to up his zone, so we'll we'll do that to uh, help out the CPU because the CPU is stupid. Plus two zone coverage there. Zeke Wall, same thing. I'm guessing we're going to have to do the zone. Yeah, 87 man, 78 zone. Let's get zone up into the 80s. So he's up to an 86 overall after his rookie year. Plus two zone. So he is now at 80 zone. Beautiful. He's going to be so, so damn good. Oh my God. All right. Let's get into the divisional round. We went 13 and four in back to back seasons. We played the nine and eight Arizona Cardinals. They're an 84 overall. Can we beat the Cardinals and get back to the NFC championships in back to back years? We do. And we play the nine and eight Green Bay Packers. We beat the Cardinals 28 21. And now we play a Green Bay team in which we did beat in the regular season, at least in week, what, eight or something like that. We're an 88 overall. They're an 83 overall. I mean, we've got to win this game, right? Can we get to the Super Bowl? Come on. We did it. 49-13. We're in the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. We did it. Yes. We've taken the Lions from a one to win team, to win team, to Super Bowl, to being in the Super Bowl in three seasons. That is amazing. Um, Michael Pittman's uh, absurd. We'll just do physical. He's playing up to a 91 overall right now. And uh, yeah, he's really good. Um, that's incredible, man. We're And by the way, I didn't even see this. We're playing the Jaguars. So not only did we go from two wins to Super Bowl in three years, but Jacksonville went from two wins or three wins to the Super Bowl in three years. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Jared Knight led the league in passing. 5,500 yards. Did have less touchdowns than Mahomes and Sam Howell. Um, Myers... 110 catches, 1,600 yards, and 11 touchdowns. He went nuts again. Uh, and I don't see anyone else in the stat leaders. Let's look at it, though. Let's look at the final stats. Jared Knight, first in passing, fourth in touchdowns. We were the second best offense in terms of yards. Third best defense in terms of yards. Swift ran for 1,000 yards and 11 touchdowns. Points scored, I guess, for first, maybe? I don't know. Points allowed? Uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's glitching out. Um, 41 touchdowns though. 15 picks is a little high for Jared Knight. DeAndre Swift, like I said, ran for a thousand yards. Uh, wait, who was, hold on. Is this, oh my God, this game is driving me nuts. It's slow. Mattinson ran for 300. Okay. Myers, great season. Pittman, great season. Hawkinson, great season. Three 1,000 yard rush, uh, receivers. Swain had 50 catches for 700 yards. Swift had 50 catches for 600 yards and eight touchdowns. And then defensively, Stackhouse led the team in tackles. 16 tackles for loss for Deron Payne. Our pass rush wasn't that great. Ajabo with 10. 9 for Hutchinson. 7 for Payne. Huh, that's interesting. A weird year 
there. Three interceptions for Stackhouse. Hennings had two. Harrison had two. Zeke had two. Hutchinson had one. Amani had one. Uh, force fumbles. Four on the year. Stackhouse, Harrison, Awarie, and Okuda. We didn't force a lot of turnovers, which has me a little concerned and no touchdowns. So let's look at the overall team stats here. Let's see. Can I go to points per game? We are second, right behind the Chiefs. And then points allowed, we were third. Wow, the Jags have the number one defense. Okay. Um, they get a lot of sacks. And they turn the ball over as well. So that's one thing. We weren't great with turnovers, it seems. So it's a bit of a concern. But let's do it. Let's get into the Super Bowl against the Jacksonville Jaguars. They went 14 and 3. 81 overall. That's it. That's insane. All right. Well, let's um let's jump in here and uh we will we'll sim it. See what happens. So jumping in here, let's do just quarter by quarter here. At the end of, or going at the end of the first, we're up 10 0. Just like that. Well, that's amazing. Up 10 0, 10 3, 17 3, 24 3. It's becoming a blowout. 24 6 at the half. All right, let's, uh, let's just do end of game here. I might jump in if we're going to win this thing. It's 27 6, 27 9. Our defense is playing insane. 27 to 9. All right, let's just play a little bit. Play with the defense as well. And, uh, ooh, Stackhouse here at Superstar. He looks just massive. Oh, I read the wrong play there. If you guys, by the way, want to see gameplay, I have Bears franchise uh, currently going and Jets franchise. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, go ahead and do so. It's a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun with it. And um, the, the Bears team might be... Just as good here as it switched me on to the wrong player. Oh my god, Aiden Hutchinson just killed Robinson. Trevor Lawrence has thrown two picks in this game. We were worried about turnovers. And uh, that does not seem to be a big deal. We're going to blitz here with Oware. And that is going to be complete. And Trevor Lawrence completes it. I don't know, like... I feel like we're like super slow. Or I, at least I am. I don't know. I don't know. Trevor Lawrence is uh, dealing right now. We've got to be better there. And he gets hit as he throws into the end zone. Incomplete. I believe that's Okuda covering there. I'm going to blitz with Stackhouse if Robinson doesn't run out for a catch here. And ah, he will. Oh, and he went the wrong way. Or, well, I went the wrong way. Robinson with the catch down to the 10. Lawrence, 26 of 40, 265 yards. It's weird just jumping right in. I feel like it's so difficult to like, okay, like I'm ready. Like, let's let's play, you know? I don't know. We'll watch these crossing routes. Can we get pressure on Lawrence? We do. He gets rid of the ball though. Incomplete. Our pass rush is kind of non-existent right now. We'll go, we'll go zone here. And, oh, well, Aiden Hutchinson is out covering. That's not good. And that's going to be thrown underneath. I missed the tackle. And that's ETN. Down to the two-yard line. I want to score one more time. So I definitely want to get this, the offense on the field. We'll try and stuff the run here. And we do. Nice tackle there. That's Hennings. Second-year linebacker with the big stop. And it's a big fourth down here. Can we do it? Can we get the stop? We do! Penderesh! Oh, man, what a hit. And the offense takes over. 27 to 9, 224 to go. Five minutes, and you guys know we're going to be throwing the ball here. I want to see how fast Bubba Swain is. Let's get him the ball over the middle. And we'll... we'll uh, Speed it up here. Let's go bootleg here. And Knight to... Who's that? Myers. Myers gets out of bounds with 2.01 to go. 
I mean, this is such a fun team, man. Such a fun team. Let's see. Let's go, I guess, verticals. I'm going to have Swain go on a slant. Maybe we hit maybe Pittman. No, I'm going to go Swain. Catch and run. Nice catch by Swain. And that's going to be the two-minute warning. I want to see our numbers. I want to see how we're doing. Let's go play action here. And maybe look at Michael Pittman. Or, you know what? I'm going deep. And to Myers, and he cannot hold on to it. Knight, 20, 27, 256, two touchdowns. Does have a interception. We'll go verticals again, but this time I'm going to send Myers on a slant. And yeah, we'll go with that. And Myers is... Okay, well, that's picked off. Gosh darn it, man. I tried to force it in there. It was good coverage. And it kind of got tipped around. That was a, kind of a weird play. Well, that sucks. <laughs> That sucks. They're going screen. That's incomplete. I I can't believe we're gonna win the Super Bowl already. I mean it's and and we're gonna win it easily. Twenty seven or nine. This defense is really good. It is really freaking good. And that's gonna be over the middle caught. Amani on coverage there. Let's blitz. And they're going deep. And it is incomplete. Targeting Zeke Wall, the rookie corner. And now second and 10. Can we get another stop here? And that is... Oh, I wanted to pick that off, but... Jones didn't, like, go for the ball. He didn't really move at all. Lawrence is going to be sacked. Who was that? It was Webster. Webster with the big sack. And that is going to be tipped and incomplete. Another turnover on downs for Jacksonville. And our offense has another chance to uh, score, possibly, with 30 seconds to go. They're blitzing. And I'm going to get it to Myers. I'm going to call a timeout. 24 seconds to go. Jacoby Myers with a nice catch. After we were hit as we threw that ball. Luckily, Myers was able to get back to, to it. Look at their defensive line. Holy superstar. x factor, superstar, superstar. Goodness gracious. That's kind of insane. I'm going to go Pittman here. And I accidentally stayed inbound, so we'll call another timeout. 18 seconds to go. We had a... Uh, Someone else open. I, I I threw it to Pittman before I saw him, unfortunately. So that is my bad. I'm going to go Pittman here. He has one-on-one. -on -one and it's incomplete. Oh, I thought he would have had that. I thought we could go one-on-one -on -one there and get a big-time touchdown. All right. Let's have Hawkinson just block. Or no, I'm going to send Hawkinson on a streak here. And let's see. We have him. And he's going to go up, and no, he dropped it. He dropped it at the last second. He had it. He had it. Dang it, man. I'm going to go Swain. And it's picked off. Boo. <laughs> we threw two picks in the quarter. It's fine. We were, we were trying to go to the end zone one more time. We are going to win the Super Bowl. 27 to 9. Oh, man. Oh, I'm on same... Wait. That's got to be a glitch, right? We didn't let St. Brown go. Is that a glitch? Or did he go to Jacksonville? I have no idea. They have Antonio Mumphrey? Who had three sacks? Oh, Kayvon Thibodeau. I forgot about that. So it was Hutchinson versus Kayvon in the Super Bowl. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That was a really cool Super Bowl. All right. Well, we win a Super Bowl three years after we went 
two and whatever. That is pretty sweet. Two fourteen and one, I think. And uh, we'll do one more season. Season recap here. Jared Knight won Super Bowl MVP after throwing three picks. It's fine. Kyler Murray, MVP. Urban Meyer, Coach of the Year. Sam Howell, Offense Player of the Year. Joey Bosa, DPOY. Keith Oliver, Offensive Rookie of the Year. And TJ Robinson was the Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have 200 staff points. So let's go ahead and use those. Oops, I went into the wrong thing. No, the, by the way, those are the playbooks we're using. Um, but let's go into a franchise staff here. And I don't think there's really anything to upgrade left in the coordinators, right? Um, oh, there's a couple of things. We'll upgrade these just to make sure that, you know, we can be as good as possible with just development. Can you continue to, to do that? Uh, defensively, we are good. And now it's... We can do either personnel or we can do player growth. I'm going to do player growth. And we'll do... Um, I feel like the... Oh, man. I want to do defense. Mm, yeah, let's do defense. Let's, let's focus on our defense and, and improve them. So, more XP. I feel like our defense is younger. Um, kind of. I don't know. I, I don't know. Whatever. But we'll do that. And let's go. We'll do this. And that's it for, um, that's for all that. Okay, cool. All right. Our team is looking insane. Oh, by the way, I never looked at, uh, like upgrades and stuff like dev trait upgrades. So let's look at that. X factor for night. Jacoby Myers has superstar. He's got to be receiver number one at this point, right? Swain is already just as good as Cephas. So he's going to be there. Tomlinson lost star dev. So maybe we look at left guard here to replace. Um, wall or no, wall 110 RX factor. No one else actually got upgraded on the year, which is kind of unfortunate. Stackhouse stays as superstar. And um, yeah, that's it. So, uh, oh, Amani or Warrior. Or Lost star dev as well. So I think corner again is something that we got to look at. Um, I think receiver were fine. I think it's it's mainly defense at this point. We got to look at inside linebacker Hopkins. Do we go after Hopkins? Oh man, that would be kind of nuts. That'd be pretty cool. I don't think so. I don't think we'll do that. Um... Greg Newsom. Greg Newsom would be pretty sweet. And that would kind of like fix our defense. Um, I think Greg Newsom would be pretty sweet. Five year deal, six mil. Uh yeah, if we could get Greg Newsom, oh Green Bay really wants him. Do we outbid Green Bay for Greg Newsom? Let's do six years, seven mil. $5 million signing bonus. Oh my God. Um, you know what? We'll do seven, 7.5. We'll up it a little bit more. If he doesn't pick us, he doesn't pick us. We just won the freaking Super Bowl, dude. So like, you know, do you, do you want to come, come on over? Ooh, Van Der Esch is, uh, I forgot Van Der Esch was going to be a free agent. We really need to figure out inside linebacker, man. Um, I didn't really see, there's some decent free agents, but we don't need any of them. Um, I don't know. We really need inside linebacker. Can I look at scouting real quick? Okay. So we have a decent middle linebacker here at six foot four, eight pursuit, B block shed. He ran a four, four, six. Oh, man. I, I just need to know more about him, but he looks really good. So I'm going to let Van Der Esch go, and I'm going to go after... Um, what's his name? Morgan Reed. I'm going to go after him. And then... Where's that corner? Was it... Oh, my God. I don't remember his name. Hold on. It was a weird name. Where is he? Did I pass him? Hold on. There's another corner. Oh, Crutchfield. Here we go. I must pass him. But he's six foot one as well. 
Um, we don't know his coverage skills, but at six foot one, running a four three six is pretty insane. So maybe we we go after him. Two round one guys. I don't know. I I think I think that would those would be two solid picks. So I don't think. Do I want to bring back? I mean, I guess we can offer him like a cheaper deal. And, uh, well, I mean, there's a lot of guys going after him. Um, I just, I don't want to spend that money. I don't. Hopefully we can get Greg Newsome. If not, I like that corner in the draft. So I don't know. I, I, I really like the team. I don't, there's not a lot I want to do or need to do. So let's see if we get Greg Newsom. That'd be pretty cool if we beat out the Packers there. Um, no, we did not. He's probably going to go to Green Bay. All right. Well, I'm just going to do everything I can to get that linebacker in that corner. All right. So private workouts, Morgan Reed, and where's the corner? Where is he? I don't see. Oh, here. No, that's Middle Brooks. Oh, here we go. Crushfield. All right. And then maybe um, I want to look at like offensive line. Let's just De Devin Meadows. I, I, I don't remember. I don't know anyone else that I want to look at. So those are going to be the uh, the prospects that we, we look at because we could use offensive line help a little bit. So we'll see. Um, we don't have a ton of money, so I don't. I want to be careful because we got to resign re guys. So this might be my last year anyway, so it might not matter. But still, um, want to be careful. Okay, so it's gonna be really hard to get both of these guys. I don't know how we're gonna do it because we don't have picks. I thought for some reason I traded my first, but I had gotten a first back. But I guess that was the year before. Um, so we could trade our first next year and try to try to move up. I don't know. They're not like super early picks, so we can maybe try and get like, I don't know, like pick eight if we can, like a second and third and who has like seven or eight. Um, and then, okay. Seven with the Cowboys offer. Okay. Not even close. Um, yes, yeah, see, I'd have to offer, like, can I offer an, another second next year? And a, uh, um, hmm, we got Webster, Payne, McNeil. Ooh, we have a lot of depth at defense, end. Okay. Let's trade. Let's trade. Epinesa, actually. Can we do that? Oh, uh, okay, 250k. We can we can work with that. We can work with that. Just give me your worst player. Um, I'll take Stanley. Will this work? Not even close. All right, we're making a trade here. We're sending our next year's first Epinesa and Cephas. We don't need Cephas anymore. And because we need a we need a corner. I really want this corner. The problem is I don't think this pick is gonna be high enough, pick 19. Um so uh, um maybe we get to like 12 or 13 and see who see how far down the board he is. And then maybe we trade up from there. We need a corner. We didn't need four receivers. Um, I like Bubba Swain. Um, we have like four defensive ends that are really good. So I think that was a good trade to make. Um, like I said, though, we just we really need a corner. Like really badly. Um, there goes the first corner off the board. Oh my God! He just went. I might. I might try and trade. Uh, frick. Hmm. Uh, can I do a, like a post draft trade? We really need a corner, dude. Gosh darn it. Oh, that sucks. That's so dumb. 
That's so dumb. He wasn't even like close to that number either. I like he was at like 18 or 19, dude. Come on. That's such BS that he went that fast. Oh, that's ridiculous. And there goes Morgan Reed. Unbelievable. All right. Well, um, let's see how good that corner and linebacker is because I might make some trades here. Um, I let the I traded my picks for next year's picks, and I just let the computer draft some guys. So they drafted those guys. Whatever, not bad. But I want to see how good that linebacker and corner are, and um, decide from there. Uh, Crutchfield is a 77. Normal Dev. Well, never mind. Normal Dev. Well, these guys suck. Okay. Well, I'm not too worried about it then. I guess we were it worked out, but I need a corner. Like really bad. So let's let's find someone here that's relatively young, um, but cheap. And see maybe if we could fill in the roster with, with trades with other teams. I don't know. Oh that worked. Okay, we just sent a first and a second for Ahmed Gardner. I'm taking it. Uh, I will gladly take that. I did not think they would take it. Not gonna lie, but they did. Uh, I want to look at inside linebacker here. Um, look at just these overalls. So Morgan Reed was a 76 overall. Normal dev. Man, that draft sucked. Will Knight. Normal dev. Okay. Um, let's see here. Is there any like? guys that are like in the 80s yeah christian harris division rival though mm. brandon smith would be nice um nick bolton i don't know there's not a lot of linebackers joey dent normal dev um okay well maybe we look at I mean, I guess we could just keep who we have. Okay, so the team is going to be like this. Um, I'm going to have Jacoby Myers be wideout number one. Swain, wideout number three. Swift, Mattinson, Hawkinson. Um, and then defensively, Zeke Wall, Superstar X Factor. We have Gardner, Akuda. I signed Callahan, so those are going to be our corners. Safety, we're still really good. Um, inside linebacker, a little concerned. But Toa Toa, I mean, he's really progressed really well, surprisingly. So we'll see um, how that goes. And yeah, this is the team. We won the Super Bowl last year. So if we don't win the Super Bowl this year, I guess it's not the biggest deal in the world. But we'll see you guys at the midseason mark. Okay, so here in this final year, things aren't going so well. We're an 89 overall, but we're only 3 and 4. We do have a breakout challenge here. Um, let's see who this is for. Somebody warned those DBs. So it's Jacoby Myers trying to get to X Factor. So he must be having a really good year. Um, but at three and four, let's do, let's send one more week to just to get like really halfway through the year. Obviously nine games left, but we win there. So we're four and four. We beat the Vikings 38, 24 Vikings are six and two. So that's, uh, that's good. And then, what did I tell you, coach? Holy crap, Jacoby Myers is X-Factor. He actually got it. That is nuts. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Let's look at the uh, season stats here. Jared Knight up there. 21 touchdowns already. Um, let's see. Jacoby Myers having a great year. 48 catches, 764 yards, and 9 touchdowns. Um, we don't have anyone among sack leaders. No one in corners. Okay, so let's look at the, the team here. Usually we do start off fairly slow. Offensive yards were fourth. Knight, third in passes, second in touchdowns. 24th in defense. So that's not great. Our defense is struggling. Points scored, we're only 15th. Man. Points allowed, we're 19th. We're really middle of the road here. Which is kind of concerning. Did my scheme get messed up? Or... Are we still good? Yeah, it, it should be fine. Maybe. I mean, it seems like this is the best thing to do. Yeah. Um, 
Huh, okay. Well, just a slow start to the year, unfortunately. We can uh, look at the midseason stats though real quick and see. Knight, 21 touchdowns, eight picks though. That's really high. Myers, 764 yards and nine touchdowns. Um, Stackhouse leads the team in tackles. Five tackles for loss for Hodgson. He only has two sacks. I mean, what are we doing with the sacks, man? All right. Well, this was kind of the deal last year, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so we go 11 and six. We're in the wild card round against the Saints, who went 12 and five. And we'll look up the numbers here. Jared Knight first in passing yards, first in touchdowns, Off offensive yards. We were first. Defensive yards improved. Went to 12th. Swift ran for 1,100 yards. Points scored. We were second. Myers 1,700 yards, 17 touchdowns, 109 catches. Points allowed. We were 18th. So, meh, meh. Um, receiving wise, Hawkinson 1,100 yards. Pittman 800 yards. Swain 800 yards. And let's see, defensively, um, sacks 10 sacks for Ojabo Hutchinson at a down year. 15 tackles for loss for Payne. 14 for Ojabo. Interception Stackhouse had three. Gardner had three. We really didn't get turnovers. I don't know. Just a weird down year for us after winning the Super Bowl. Still have the number one offense, which is great. But kind of a disappointment. But we'll see. Divisional round. This is it. And we win. 31-21 over the Saints. Now playing a very good Cowboys team. 14-3. Micah Parsons is a 99 overall. Um, very good team. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Let's see if we can win it. And we win. 31-28. We're into the NFC Championship game playing another 11-6 team. The Bucks are an 89 overall. Wow. Who's on the Bucks? Let's look real quick. Um, who's the quarterback? Because I know they lost Brady, right? Sam Howell is the quarterback. Did they draft Sam Howell? They did. They did. He didn't play his first two seasons, but he's been going nuts. Fournette is still there. Um, Elijah Mitchell is there. They have... Four running backs at 79 overall or better. Oh, they have Hopkins and Godwin and Evans. And they have St. Brown. Okay. St. Brown was with Jacksonville last year. That's right. Okay, we did let him go. That's funny. Um, Holy crap. Hopkins, Godwin, Evans, and St. Brown. Are you kidding me? Draymond Jones... Jermaine Johnson, Vita Vey is a beast. Their defense, they have Devin White. Their defense is kind of mad though. Hey, they have Van Der Esch. Oh, we should have kept him, man. Carlton Davis, Dean, Winfield, Julian. This, uh, I don't think we win this game. I don't. Can we get to the Super Bowl in back-to-back -back years? We've made it to the championship game, NFC championship game, three straight years. Can we get to a Super Bowl in back-to-back -back seasons. We're 91 overall versus their 89. We made it, and not only did we beat them, but we killed them. 49-10. Oh, we're in the Super Bowl for back-to-back -back seasons. I, I honestly, like, the numbers did not point to us, like, being very good. But plus two finesse moves, by the way, for Aiden Hutchinson. So now 98 power moves, 89 finesse moves. He is absurd. And we are in the Super Bowl in back-to-back -back seasons, this time playing against the Chiefs. Wow. All right, let's see if we got any dev trade upgrades. We might have. Uh, uh, yeah, let's look at... We'll do upgrade players after because that usually spoils it. So let's see. Knight is an X-Factor. We knew that. Myers is an X-Factor. Um, Knight... Oh, you know what? I should change... His ability. What is it? Brick wall? Um, what should it be? I, I can never remember. Um, gambler? I guess? I don't know. And like, none of these are... Are done. So, we can do like... Clutch, maybe? I don't know. Um, 
I know you guys say to do... Oh my god, what is it? Well, let's do closer. And then... Um, I can never remember which one you guys tell me to do. Oh, Gunslinger? I think Gunslinger. And then, oh, we can have Escape Artist. Oh, he's nuts. <laughs> he's insane. Uh, Jacoby Myers. Let's do Double Me, if we can. Um, yeah, Double Me. And then, for the defense, was there any big ones here? No, I don't see any upgrades. Yeah, I don't see any upgrades, but there you go. I was hoping Gardner would be would have X Factor, but that's all right. Let's look at upgrades here. Right before we jump into the Super Bowl, Jared Knight has an upgrade, and we will give him. Let's give him Strong Arm. So he's now truly a 93 overall. Um, but yeah, 95 throw power. His accuracies are really good. He's so good, man. He's so good. All right, let's jump into this game. The 11 and 6 Kansas City Chiefs. Here we go. Into the first quarter. I did play the moment, so let me... Um, can I just, like, get out of this? Okay, so our, Kansas City's driving. Let's do Super Sim here. And then jump forward. We'll just do each quarter. Chiefs up 7 nothing. We tie it up at 7. And into the second quarter... We will go ahead and sim the second. Okay, Kansas City takes a 14-7 lead. They take a 17-7 lead. We make a 17-14 into the third quarter. A much closer game this time around. We take a 21-17 lead. They make a 21-20. And now into the fourth quarter. We make it 28-20. to Change of possession here. The Chiefs make it 28-26. They went for two and didn't get it. Eight minutes to go. We make it 35-26. We're up by nine. Can our defense get a stop? No. 35-33 with 347. We will jump in with the ball. Up 35-33. to We just need a perfect, nice drive to end this game. We'll throw a screen here to DeAndre Swift, and this is going to be a big gain here. And Swift stay in bounds down to the 40-yard line, and uh, Knight is going off. He has like 350 yards and four touchdowns. This is a super awesome Super Bowl. 35-33. to 33. We'll have Swain come underneath, and uh, maybe we'll hit him. Yeah, he's open. Go to Swain, and that's a gain of nine. 362 yards and four touchdowns for Knight. He's uh, having a terrific day. Let's go play action. Now I'm going to send Myers on a streak here. If he isn't doubled, we'll go after him. No, TJ's open though. And was that not pass interference? Can we get a pass interference? Come on, man. All right, play action here. I might escape with Knight. No, there's... Uh, can I get a round? No, we're sacked. Oh, Burton with the sack. I thought with our speed that we could get around there. It's 14 11. And uh, we will go ahead and punt. And it's going to be up to our defense, which is kind of cool. We'll see if our defense can get a stop. And Tyree Kill will catch it at the 14 yard line. All right, here we go. Can our defense, which we worked on a lot in this video, get a stop against Patrick Mahomes? It's 35 to 33. And over the middle, it is caught by McCole Hardman. We just need one big stop, man. Someone make a play. Someone make a play. We need to get after Mahomes here. We might have to use our timeouts too if they start driving because all they need is a field goal. Oh man, if only our offense, if only we could have done something with their offense. We need Aiden Hutchinson to get going here. I don't know. We need we need a big play. And Mahomes is going to take off, and he has a ton of space. And he's going to slide down to the 49-yard line. Gosh darn it. That sucks. Mahomes is going to escape again, and he will run out of bounds at the 40-yard line. I'm trying to get Callahan to go after him, 
and the stupid game just doesn't work. It's just it just doesn't do what I need him to need it to do. Can we stop Mahomes here? They're gonna run it. And do we start calling timeouts? They're going no huddle still. But we might have to start going and calling timeouts. That is going to be complete. And we will call a timeout. They're at the 34 yard line. Oh my god. This sucks. They're going to run it. Cuts it back inside. Hutchinson is there. We'll call another timeout. We need to stop here. Um, we need to stop. This is... This is a huge play. I'm actually going to kind of zone up with Hutchinson. Go after Mahomes and he's going to throw it away. We keep one timeout. Stop. Clock is stopped with a minute to go. The field goal... By Kansas City. It's a 49-yarder. And it is good. So we are down by one. Can we have a game-winning drive with less than a minute to win the Super Bowl? And Kansas City has all of the momentum. We need a big-time return here from Swain. And we don't get it. No one blocked. No one blocked at all. That was a terrible, terrible return. Not on Swain, but on everyone else. No one blocked. That was absurd. Over the middle, DeAndre Swift. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Come on. Come on, same play. Here we go. Same play. And I'm gonna go to Myers. Nice catch out of bounds, 31 seconds. We just gotta get in field goal range for Evan McPherson. Oh, man. What a crazy game. All right. Knight is in the zone. Uh, I'm going to have Swift go out the other way. All right. Here we go. And I'm going to go DeAndre Swift. And they didn't tackle. They didn't tackle. Out of bounds at the 37. Knight has 400 yards. Oh, we still have one timeout, too. Oh, my God. What a huge play. Huge play. I'm going to take off with Knight. And Knight gets down to the 34-yard line. It's a gain of three. All right. Let's go play action here. And I might just run with Knight. I, I can't. I'm stuck. And Knight, I tried to slide. It didn't work. I'm going to run the clock down. This is a this is a very makeable field goal here. So we will call timeout with four seconds to go. Down by one. Kansas City is gonna call timeout. Oh my god, it's gonna come down to this. It's a 42 yard field goal to win the Super Bowl. And it is Good! Barely! <laughs> we won it 38-36! Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't sure. Back-to-back -back Super Bowl champs! The Detroit Lions! <laughs> oh, what a video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was nuts. I can't believe, first off, after the season that we had... A very up and down season. Statistically, not a great season. But we found a way. We didn't win our division. We won on the road throughout the whole playoffs. And then against the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes, we come back. Unbelievable. A back and forth game in the Super Bowl. We couldn't get a first down in the fourth quarter. We give Mahomes the ball. He drives down and gets him in field goal range. And with a minute to go, we get in field goal range and kick a 42-yarder to win it. Jared Knight with 405 yards and four touchdowns. Mahomes, 310 yards and three touchdowns. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire ran for 137 and a touchdown. 
Swift had 106 receiving yards. Goodness gracious. Who had the touch two touchdowns for Hawkinson? One for Chanovich. And uh who else? Wait. Oh, Bubba Swain had a touchdown. And then defensively, um, sacks wise, Burton had two. Deron Payne had one. Hutchinson had one. No interceptions. What an unbelievable game. And we win it 38 36. There it is. We are Super Bowl champions. We've got some upgrades here. So, oh, I guess not. Never mind. Hello. Um, but we will look at the final uh, recap of the 2025 season. Back to back champions, Super Bowl 59 and 60. Jared Knight, back to back Super Bowl MVP. We did not get any awards throughout the regular season, which makes sense. We, we we really didn't have that good of a year. It wasn't like this year where like we had a great season overall. Um like Aiden only had like nine sacks. Ojabo had a good year, ten sacks, but yeah, Bubba Swain has an upgrade. He finishes, he's playing up to an 87. He's probably really good. I'm I i have not really looked at him, but he's probably really really good let's look at this final roster and uh i mean what an unreal year unbelievable um decker and tomlinson are getting older they lost our dev but the right side looks really good hawkinson's playing up to 97 myers playing up to 93 Pittman playing up to 91 swain up to 87 knight up to 95 swift playing up to 96 and then the defense Aiden playing at a 99. Stackhouse at a 96. Zeke playing at a 93 in just year two. Ojabo at an 86. What a year, man. What a year. Durant Payne at a 95. This was a really fun team. This was a really, really fun team. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, let me know in the comments below what other uh, rebuilds you guys want to see on the channel. I had a lot of fun with this. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.